gonna spin the prop, maybe get some air action going. Huh. We got an, oh, we got an airboat now. Look at that, son. We got an airboat. Oh, and she's coming in to me right now. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to NWIRC. Today's video, we're gonna take this pro boat, UL19, out for the first rip out in the pond on this beautiful sunny day. I do got the GPS hooked up and uh, that's the GNS uh, analyzer thingy and uh, not looking to get any you know break any records or get any speed runs even though I haven't even run the boat yet but uh, we are definitely going to see what we could do in this little pond just for like a tester. So let's go ahead and get set up here. Oh man I got a little bit more debris than I'd like. Oh, I gotta be really careful out here. Okay, so what I did is I went ahead and hit uh, start and she is testing. Just gonna let it rip until the end of the video and just see what our top speed's gonna be. Okay, this boat is 100% bone stock. The only thing that I have in here is the Mad Lizard, which I'll show a picture of it right now, along with how I waterproofed my SR315 receiver. Uh, I use that duck spray that you can see right here and I'll tell you what that stuff works great on circuit boards I just want to test and see if it's gonna harden my wires. I'm not sure but it is designed for circuit boards other than that uh, I have the Z 9000 ma Lipos in here obviously 3s stock setup stock prop stock everything All right, let's just take her off slow and see what she does Nope, just wanting to bury that front end. Come on. Oh, shit. There we go. There we go, guys. Here we go. Oh, man, does she rip. Hold on. Just got to get it just right. I'm not sure how fast we're going here, but hey, I figured it out. You just gotta get her rolling, man. That's all you gotta do. Okay, just gotta get her up, get the nose up. I don't wanna flip it because I don't have my rescue boat out here. All right, guys, just for the heck of it, let's see what she did on this speed run. Or not really a speed run, let's just see what she did. So we'll hit stop, read. Dang. 49 mile an hour? No way. Dude, 49 in this little pond? That is amazing. All right, let's hit start. Hold on one second. Start. She is testing. All right. Wow, 16 satellites. Wow, man. This thing boogies. And this is a small pond, guys. I have 49 mile an hour in this little area. Now, that is an island. Not where this tree's at, but on the other side, you can see that island over there. But let's go ahead and do that again, man. That was awesome. But, man, this boat is heavy. I mean, them batteries are super heavy. Actually, I think they're just too big. Oh, here we go. Oh, do you see that? Oh, no, no, no. I don't want to get too close over there. And then she wants to suck. See, let me just hit reverse for a little bit. Maybe I can clear it out, whatever, maybe it's stuff. There we go, we're up on plane. Oh, nice. Okay guys, stay tuned, I'm gonna go walk over there. I gotta, I gotta go across over here and uh, grab that thing because I don't wanna tear nothing up. All right guys, that was not a crash. Check it out. I just got back from over there and let's see what we did. We're gonna hit stop. That, man, I swear that, that, that could have been 50 mile an hour right there. Let's see. Let's stop. 
Can you see the read? What should you do? Oh, 44. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, looked like it went. All right, guys. I'm on my way back. Got a fresh battery in the GoPro. And uh, so, what are you guys' thoughts so far? I mean, you know, 49 mile an hour in this little tiny pond. That's pretty quick. But I think these batteries are still too big. Way too big. <clears throat> if you guys don't know nothing about the the GNSS uh, analyzer. You guys look, see how there's no power lights? Let me slow down here. See how there's no lights here right now? Well, the, the boat's way over there, like right there in that stump. Okay, see, I just picked up the Bluetooth signal. Sorry, I didn't pick that up on camera, so we did get close enough. So we're going to go ahead and get over there. That's why you guys, you know, I thought my system was messed up because as soon as it left my Bluetooth, it's like, well, how in the heck is it going to you know record my data if it's out of the bluetooth within you know say 20 to 40 feet away and um so i read in the manual that it's still recording even though it's not picking up your bluetooth so when you bring it back close to range to your phone or whatever bluetooth device you're using yes that's what it does it uh picks it back up and it it remembers it and you could go hit the read and all that all right we are rinsed out Nothing is clogging the ports there to let the water cooling action go. Oh man, this is horrible out here. Make sure everything's good. Got the prop clean. How's she sounding? I don't know about that, but all right, let's get her out there. Ah, oh, just nose diving again. Oh man, I don't know, guys. Let me adjust my camera here. She's staring for crap too. Hold on, I'm gonna lose her. And we will check for water. Oh, shh. Ooh. Hold on, guys. Check this out. I don't know if it's gonna be a good idea or not. But let's go reverse. Okay, watch this. Get this set up right. Okay, reverse. And then we're gonna launch her. No! No, I just flipped her! Crap! Okay, at least she's going to the shore. Okay, guys, let's go get it. Is she gonna come back to us? Oh, no! Oh, is the current coming this way? Oh, yes, she's coming this way. Guys, come on. All right, come on, keep coming, keep coming. I'm gonna sit down here and wait for her. Hopefully, she'll come. Oh man, I don't want to go in the pond either. Oh man. Oh, do I have a stick around here? No, I sure don't. Okay, everything's still working. Uh-oh. She's going to go right over there. Man, I got to get a stick. Man, come on, guys. What did I just do? Exactly what I didn't want to do. Oh. I'm going to have to wait. I do not want to have to go to the house and get the Pro Boat. She won't sink. Like I said, good idea to have that waterproof tape on there. That duct tape that Mr. B had uh, mentioned, that's great. Didn't work out for my V1. Oh, shoot. I gotta get something quick. Come on. Oh, man. That break. No, I can't do that. Oh, crap. Will she come over here? Oh, come on. All right, so see the current? probably gonna stop in that debris right there but the current is blowing this way so if I wait long enough she might roll back this way come on baby let's spin the prop maybe get some air action going huh. we got an, oh we got an airboat now look at that son we got an airboat oh and she's coming into me right now hey yeah look at that airboat look at that look at that look at that <laughs> yeah, baby! Oh, the hydroplane is an airboat too! Heck yeah! Alright, let's go ahead and grab her. Whoa, I'm slipping down. Oh, my Crocs and socks on the... Oh, there we go. Alright, guys. Alright. I'm pretty excited. You guys said thing was acting like an airboat. Wow! Heck yeah! 
Anybody ever do that to theirs? All right, guys, you know what? I'm actually, um, I'm done with this run. I mean, I got plenty of juice in my batteries. I know that. I'm not even going to bother checking what speed it did. Obviously, 49 was the fastest I got so far with it, with these big, heavy, monster batteries. Uh, you know what? For the heck of it, let's see what's on the inside. Let's see if we got some water. All right, you guys get the, the hint here. I'm getting the tape off and yeah, you know what? Might as well make it live for you guys and so you guys can see what's going on. Cause I mean, it was submarining like crazy. So we'll definitely see the durability of this tape and everything. And what I like about these style of boats, the way Pro Boat put these thumb screws in is that you can actually get tape to seal. Like on my Sonic Wake and my Sonic Wake V2, it's really hard because it's so tight up in the corner to get it, you know, waterproofed. Some some of my subscribers say, oh, I don't use tape and I don't get water in my boat. Well, there must be a flaw with mine because I tell you what, if I don't tape it, I'm getting water in it. So uh, let's go ahead and check it out. Just curious if it stayed dry. Hey, maybe it didn't. Okay. Got it loose. Set this here. Uh, yeah. Um. Yeah, we did get some water in there, guys. Not a whole lot. Nothing to complain about. Got a drain plug here. We will pop that out. Don't want to lose it. Then I will tilt this on an angle. Oh, see, that's why you guys got to be careful. I'm going to tilt this on an angle so it could drain out. Careful with that turn fin. Yeah, I mean, not a whole lot of water, but it did, some water got in there. I mean, look at how much she was submarine, you know? And that's exactly why I got this Mad Lizard re water resistant GNSS meter case. And I did, and also what I did is I used that waterproof tape that you see me use on the canopy. I do seal that as well to make this 100% waterproof, okay? You can see the lights in there, you can see everything that's going on. Let's see here, put this this way. And nothing rubs, nothing gets in the way of it. And uh, yeah, I'm really happy with this purchase with this Mad Lizard water resistant cover, or his case he calls it. So yeah guys, hey, if you like this content, please like, comment, and subscribe. I got a massive worldwide giveaway going on with an Axial SCX24 crawler that has many, many upgrades. And I'm telling you, man, that thing, like, like I said before in my other videos, you gotta go watch that videos or watch that video because I'm gonna put the link right up over here so you guys can check it out. You can enter to win, very simple rules. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and put these batteries in storage mode. And I will find a better set of batteries that are more suitable for this boat. Because there's no way. I mean, I've seen a lot of videos on this boat. and uh, But nobody, I haven't seen anybody run 9,000 mile batteries either. These heavy, you know, bricks. But, uh, yeah. Hey, like, comment, subscribe. Share this video to your friends. Share that giveaway to your friends. Because you could have one kick butt crawler at your house in no time. All right guys, have a great day.